So there you go. Hi, Pat. <laughs> Uh, and who's a dirtbag? Who's, who's a, a toxic human being that I have accidentally seen in real life? <laughs> I'm sure there's many, many that you could name. <laughs> so many. Um, mm. One of my favorite stories is there's a guy, there's a comic, and I'll name him. What, 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 what he knows me? He can't even remember that I'm on the show with him. Uh, mm. Bill, Bill Maher. Hmm. Bill Maher has a show on HBO and he does stand up and he always has a woman comic open for him hmm. to sort of mediate his misogyny, to mediate his grumpy. Nobody can g- make me get, he did tw- the, the weekend, the night I opened for him. It was two shows. I think might've been one, but whatever it was, he was very funny, but the last 20 minutes didn't make any sense. It was all about how um, no one could make him get married. Nobody. And you're like, Who's doing that? Mm-hmm. You're, 50, you're 50. And you're surrounded by by a paid escort. Like he had an entourage with him at this club. And I was in the green room and he came in with his entourage. And I introduced myself to him. And in the course of that introduction, he's not even making eye contact with me. He goes, do you need this room? I kind of need this room for my f- friends and I. Just to kind of chill out before the show. And I was like, the green room? Do I need the green room? And he goes, yeah. And I said, no, I think there's a coat rack downstairs that I could just hang out <laughs> next to before I go on stage. And he didn't even hear me. He goes, thank you. Thank you very much. And so he's, I don't know if he's talking. I mean, his standup can be super toxic and his show can be super grumpy and, and, and mean. And, um, but I, I think he's just thoughtless. He's a, he's mm-hmm. a mess, you know? Yeah. And so I wish him only the best, I guess. 